Hello there everyone and welcome back to Completely Average Gaming and welcome to Simple Rockets 2 today! It's sort of a Kerbal Space Program except for... new? And... yeah! Less mods for now, but I'm sure that will work itself in in due time. Uh, I was happy enough or lucky enough to get a key from the devs. Thank you very much. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this one. I've been thinking about jumping into Kerbal Space Program for quite a while, but I felt like it was a bit old and I was a bit sucky at it. Figured, Simple Rockets 2, can I really get this one? And then I got it and I was so stoked. I'm not sure if you can hear my voice or not. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's jump on in. So there's a huge difference between Simple Rockets 1 and 2. This one is so much more realistic and look at the graphics. Look at that beautiful model right there. Um, so yeah, th this is uh, this is of course early access. There's a lot of stuff to be added in. Nothing is set in stone, so don't don't you know get locked on how it looks right now. I think it looks awesome to be honest. That's my opinion. But have your own opinion. I'm not going to tell you to buy anything or not to buy anything. Make up your own mind. It's gonna be awesome. Let's build a, ourselves a rocket, see if I can make something that will actually pop off the face of the earth, uh, which is gonna be brilliant. Uh, I have no clue about, see, it would've been awesome to also see the, um, what do you call it again? The um, specific impulse, the, the, the amount of velocity you generate from each and every single thing. Of course, that was a nose cone, so it probably doesn't generate any significant amount of, uh, do we drag? I drag it, ah, uh, got it. And the beauty of this is that it, did you see, did you guys see what happened there? It's absolutely phenomenal. Just look at that. All right, it's way too big. I release the button. Boom. Straight on. Right on, brother. Right on. All right, um, I want some, some, some parachutes. There we go. Parachute, just smack that on there. That's going to be awesome. Uh, and we also might want some, here we go. Mass, all right, price, all right. Activation group, that's fine, la 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 and no clue, we'll just figure this out as we go. I haven't opened the game until now, so, you know, don't don't expect too much. Um, it's all, it all looks good to me. Uh, maybe we should just go ahead and, and launch this thing, see how it goes into the, uh, into the big atmosphere and whatnot. We could, of course, make a little bit of an interest stage with uh, a couple of, um, of these ones. How do I turn on, uh, geometry mode? X, shift, okay, maybe I should have looked that up. I'm gonna look that up. All right, so I figured it out. All you have to do is just hit M for mic, and all of a sudden you have this beautiful little, well, we're just gonna simply divide it in two, and you can also, of course, go for two radial, three radial, four, five, six, and disable. Uh, but we're just gonna mirror it. It's not gonna be that big of a rocket. We're just gonna try and figure out if we can actually fly something on this. Uh, in this game, which you know, and it's in and of itself, it's quite an achievement for for something someone uh, named completely average gaming. I would say that that's uh, that's uh, above par, uh, even. There we go. It's um, it's looking good. Let's go ahead and fire ourselves a little bit of a propulsion unit. Something needs to kick this stuff up into orbit. Uh, are we gonna go with the same ones? Kind of feel like that's a bad choice. Uh, is it commands? Yeah, all right. It's control said for for just jump on back to whatever you were doing before, which is brilliant. Love that. Um, makes it easy to to sort of keep in touch with everything that's happening. Test dummy. Can we? <laughs> all right, we got a test dummy on each of the boosters there. Side boosters. That's gonna be brilliant. Uh, <laughs> ah, this is gonna be awesome. Um, how do I? How do I? What was that I was going to do? I was going to try and, and support it somehow. That was what, was what I was on about. Can we do that? Strut. No, oh, that's not what I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for, like, a launch clamp of some sort or description or other. Roll reveal, wheel, hand rotator, rotator, piston, shock, solar eight. No, nah, I think we're docking port. Nah. Command chip? Nah. Fuel adapter? Nah. RCS nozzle? <laughs> Let's fling one on, on one of the test dummies. Both of them, actually. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and fly this thing. I'm very, very curious to see how it will actually fly. Especially with the two test dummies on, they're gonna, they're not gonna know what hit them. Let's just put it that way, shall we? 
Holy smokes. All right, let's let's see. I I'm given to understand that uh, it's the same throttle controls as Kerbal Space Corps program. We're going to try that out real quick. Yep, that was 100%. That was zero. What? Have I forgotten this? Oh no. Um all right, uh, we're just going to It's either full throttle or nothing. I suppose. Uh two. Hit it. Oh. Dang it. All right. I'm terrible. Where did the test dummies go, though? I forgot about the test dummies. What the heck? All right, so apparently if I, if see, I have to be careful now because I I was in here dragging the the mouse forth and back, trying to control the camera, but that's not how it works. That controls the the pitch and yaw and whatnot of the rocket itself. We were we were going crazy there for a minute. Uh, but yeah, look at it. I mean. It is quite beautiful. There's a lot of detail missing for now, but of course this is early access, which means they have a ton of time to add all that in. And the basic functionality of the game is brilliant so far. I mean, the whole thing about you know you can control the whole thing from from this angle as well. Brilliant. Would have I, I personally I would have preferred the the circle here to be a little bit smaller, uh, but that might be a some some setting I can just switch around somewhere. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, control the thing with with the WASD keys, which is brilliant. Uh, should we just, you know, call it quits there? I'm pr no, we have a parachute. Never mind. All right? Is is it a, a decoupler here? Can we decouple anything? Come on. Uh, can I see what's the next stage? That was the parachute. Dang it! All right. Uh, full speed ahead then. Let's just time accelerate out of this world. Let's see it, what kind of what kind of range we're doing here. We're doing 2.58, uh, sorry, 258 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. All right, all right. That's fair enough. I can live with that. I'll, yes, please. And we're on our way down. Brilliant. Our, our surface speed is increasing. Our altitude is dropping. That's how we like it. Uh, it will be interesting to see if the parachute, oh shoot, wrong button. If the parachute actually will work now, that it's deployed from from its highest possible altitude, or if it will, you know, not work at all. Which is a fair worry. How the hell does it turn like that? And how, how is it? Okay. Oh, that was the, the turbulence of entering the atmosphere. That's fine. How does, how, how is the parachute staying upright? And far away from the craft in outer space I have no clue whoever can tell me that would be I would be much appreciated comment section is where it lives come on let's let's see some action here will it actually work I think it might I think it might just work let's time lapse this and see if, if how it goes with landing All right, so less than less than 800 meters left to the ground. It's about time to see if we'll blow up or if we'll actually land this thing. One thing for the future, let's not pop the parachute before we actually. There we go. Okay, that was very anticlimactic. Parachute stays upright. That's an achievement in itself, in and of itself, I would say. But yeah, let's not pop the parachute before we even reach our apoapsis, shall we? I think that will be brilliant for the future. End. Stage end. How do I end this? Get out. Go. Way. Back to building. Here? No. That's... No? Okay. There we go. End flight. Yes. Uh, save and exit. Brilliant. It took me like five minutes to get down to the surface from there. Let's just mix up the staging here and we should be good. I think. Uh, hang on. Uh, no. We want that to be... Yep. You want that and those to fire at the same time. Uh, can I can I just move you up there? Remove that. There we. Oh, there we go. Yep. Now we're talking. Main engines and and booster engines. All at the same time. Can I somehow make you guys just stay there for the duration of the journey? Do we have like a 
cargo bay? Uh, that's not what it's called. But you know what I mean. Uh, the, no. Fairing. Fairing works for me. Fairing nose cone. That, okay. You didn't want that one. That's fine. Um, cargo, cargo bay. There we go. Brilliant. Yes. Down to just above their heads. That's brilliant. I was also fling a nose cone on there. Uh, and maybe a bit down. Uh, how do I open the cargo bay? Holds bay can, that can hold stuff. Brilliant. Thank you for the insight. Absolutely magnificent. How do I get it out of there, though? Mid-flight. Because that's kind of important. I want to drop these dummies from, from high up somewhere. How the hell did the parachute get in stage one? Add stage parachute. Yes. Empty? Interstage? What the heck is the... That's the side... Uh, that's those things? That's fine. Uh, stage 3 is empty for some reason. Uh, do you have a stage? Uh, sh sh I hate it when I can't do things right from the get-go. But okay. Uh, cargo bay. Activation group. Uh, let's put it to 1. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Uh, dead weight. Uh, nothing would be preferable. Uh, start open? No. Advanced part setting? Nah. Thinker panel? No clue what that is. Not fully supported yet, so let's not play around with that. Let's just play, let's just hit the, the play button and get going here. Uh, because we're about to go crazy bananas. Hopefully we'll get into orbit this time. I'm just going to try the, rea the control group. One. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Alright, let's send these two dummies up into space, shall we? Uh, max Q, or max throttle at least. It's not Q yet. We're about to hit max Q in a while, though. How do I throttle down? Let's control. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's throttle down. We don't need all this acceleration right from the get-go. Also, how do I see uh, fuel? Uh, active stage, 76%. All stages, 75%. Okay, uh, let's throttle down some more because we're gaining far too much uh, momentum here. Far too quickly. Am I am I turning a little to the side by any chance? I'm pretty sure I'm not. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm a bit skeptical and flipping it over because I'm afraid it will just keep on flipping out of control. Alright, let's uh, throttle down even more. About 250 is fine until we get to a little thinner atmosphere. Less drag and all that good stuff. I think that will be brilliant. Absolutely magnificent. Uh, let's also uh, tip it a little more. It's not called tipping. You know that. We know that. All, everyone knows it's not called tipping. You don't tip a spacecraft. You pitch it or yaw it or something. I just don't know which is which. I think that's the, the main issue right now. All right, let's see how far up we're, we're on our way. 23 kilometers. That's not going to do it. Uh, but okay, uh, can I select that and just just open that one? No, not explode that part, although that would be fun. <laughs> uh, I just want to open it. Can I, can I like, open it? Activate this part. There we go. Brilliant. Can I now select that one, guy? Uh, reset max six seconds? Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, well, that's that also works, I suppose. Not where I was going with that, but it's okay. We're in full control. Look at that guy. He's like, yep, this is the journey of my life. Lifetime experience on the... What's this ship called? The HMS... It's gonna go bad? Alright, full throttle until we're out of fuel. That's, that sounds like a good plan. Let's also open both of those bays. Let's try and explode him. Well, that didn't go well. Alright, let's uh, get rid of that guy too. Okay, this is interesting. We're spinning now. Can we keep it up with the camera? No. I'm terrible at this. I, I already imagined that. Being a, a full-flown full blown thing now. Come on. What? No. Alright, I'm giving up. 
I can't follow the spin on that one. The rotation is killing me. Making me dizzy and whatnot. How far up? 98? So we got... We got further up last time. But then again, then, then we just... Full throttled it all the way. But yeah, I think I think we got a lot of potential here. We might want to look into... Oh, there we go. That's our last craft, I think. I would imagine. All right, all right. I think we can... I think we can... Maybe we should try and go to the moon. Is the moon here anywhere? There it is. I see the moon. Upper, oh, I love the zoom function there. Holy smokes. Look at that. Brilliant. I love that. Love that. All right. Um, out of the map mode. How far up are we? 13,000 meters. And dropping fast. Let's uh, hit the staging. Well, stage it. There we go. Oh, that was... <laughs> That was a sudden decrease of speed, if ever there was any. Holy smokes. I'm glad I'm not sitting in those seats. Immediate deceleration. Uh, but that's, we, we can dig that, I suppose. Come on, allow me worse speed. I'm a, I'm a Star Trek kind of guy, you know? Worse speed is what it is. But as this is mountains, I would imagine that we're, we're gonna hit it before 200 meters, for sure. Looks like we're already beneath that, so you know that that's something. How far down? It would be awesome if we could have like a laser finder, like a that's how far away from the ground you are. You should possibly consider doing something about that. What's this? Activate RCS thrusters? We don't have any RCS, so that's yeah, that's that's not gonna fly. Anyone can tell you that much, buddy. Uh, but yeah, I, I, ooh, we're 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 definitely beneath the cavern here now the hilltops are too far up but yeah I, I do like this game so far I think once it gets a little bit further along with development and a little bit further along hopefully with mods and such this is gonna be absolutely flipping epic I can already sense that in the in the bottom of my stomach or, or some other place uh, let's end the flight there's no reason to Wait around, see that it actually rolls because it will roll. It's as simple as that. Let's, uh, can we get rid of all of that? Yes, please. Uh, and let's see if we can't build us ourselves a magnificent little craft here. We might want to. Well, no. We're going to keep that. We're going to make it smaller, though. And we're going to fling a, um, Apex. Oh, hello. No. 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 Uh, Pixie? No. Let's go with this one, because it, it seems to be the sturdy, everlasting one. Uh, but we also need some, some legs. Um, do we have something that is legs, or do we have to make our own? Uh, pushes parts away f from each other. Brilliant, thank you very much. And you want to soften impact with terra firma. That looks it sounds like something we want. I suppose, but um but do we really not have any legs? No legs? What's this? Wing L landing leg, there we go. Oh, that was a big one. Okay, let's uh can I not alright, let's move that to the side a little. Move that down a little. Fling that there. Where did the landing leg go? There it is. Let's move that to the side so we can actually grab it. Ah, come on. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, uh, we also want that to be in a mirror kind of stage. Did I not do it right now? I didn't do it right now. There we go. Mirror, we're gonna quadruple it. If that's a thing. Right. We also want some inner stages. Uh, inner stage, there we go. Brilliant. Can we shrink it any? There we go. Even brillianter, believe it or not. Right, uh, fuel tank. And that's gonna be quite wide at the bottom. Can we just move that up a little? There we go. Uh, we might want that to be longer, actually. Come on. Something like that, perhaps? And the biggest, biggest, baddest engine we got that does not look right. We need to. This you need to be bigger. 
How about that? That looks great. That lo well, great might be stretching it, but it looks. That's the most important part. Right, um, you already got a parachute, so that's fine. Maybe fling some solar panels on here as well. Uh, let's hit that, that thing, that mirror mode, and just fling three of these on. Like there. Did that work? It worked out brilliantly. Just as we wanted it to, believe it or not, for once. Right, uh, all these are good. Solar panel array. No, I think we're good with these ones. We're not going to need that much um, solar panels. Fuel port. Is that like a... I'm not sure what I did with that. It's it's there. We got a fuel port now. <laughs> fuel adapter. Makes it easier to connect engines to odd places on fuel tanks. Alright, uh, so I don't need that. Get rid of it. Be gone. Can we find the other one? No. It's in there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Found it. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Don't want it. Don't, ain't gonna keep it. Alright. Um, where's the separation tools? Where's the things you don't want to touch mid-flight? There we go. But, uh, that needs to be quadrupled, I think, for this one. Brilliant. Uh, with a couple of these ones on. Uh, and they're gonna be longer than last time. Uh, structural panel? No. Nose cone? Yes. Uh, maybe drag it back a little. Strut? Mm, well, uh, mm, no. But, um, you need to... These need to move up. Doesn't seem like physics is fully implemented yet, so this might actually work, even though, you know, a couple of, of tiny uh, radial decouplers might be stretching it in terms of, of structural integrity for a rocket, I would imagine, without actually knowing for sure, because I'm not a rocket scientist. Not even close. Um, no, but we definitely want some RCS, but we probably also want some RCS tanks for RCS to be a thing. Can I get that in quadruple as well, please? Or tridruple, at least? This one? Yes, there. Brilliant. And, uh, and maybe one there as well. In... Ah, I wish there was like a... Now you got it in quadruple or triple triple radial so now it stays that way that would have been brilliant in my honest humble opinion anyways right let's uh, have a look at the stages here that's the, those four that's the interstage that's the main engine that needs to start with the with the early ones there we go so you can get rid of that one uh, parachute <laughs> interstage All right so the staging is doing some Fairly interesting things nowadays. Let's move that up. Um, main engine start. That's fine. Landing legs and parachute. I think we're good to go. Let's see if we can make the moon on this one. Houston, this is uh, Space Lander 1 on route for the moon. We are ready for takeoff on your go. Please, uh, leave us your go, and, uh, we'll get going. Yeah, this is Houston. You have a go. All engines, go. Go! Copy that, Houston. We're on our way to the moon and beyond. Oh, hello, that was, that was, that was, yeah, that was definitely a bit more apoapsis than we needed in, in the beginning phase of this mission. But what can you do? It's, shit happens, and, you know, the plan is to just adapt from there, I suppose. Uh, that would be the wrong way. Uh, is that, uh, what is it called? It's not, uh, that would be retrograde? 
Uh, this would be prograde. There we go. Right, so I want prograde, full throttle prograde, in order to circulate, uh, circularize the orbit, or get a significant impact somewhere, somehow, in a way. There we go, brilliant. All right, uh, we got almost no fuel left in this in this stage, so yeah, that's a that's a thing, apparently. Um, but where am I supposed to be? Versus where am I? Is am I supposed to hit the orange thing there, or how's that work now? Uh, RCS, yes. Do we have any RCS? I don't really know. If I turn those on, can I then turn around? Make the craft turn. I'm gonna stop the engines. Engine shut off. Shut down. Shut off. Engine shut. No, no. Stay to stick to the orange, the brownish type of deal. When do I know when I'm supposed to hit the the throttle button? On this. Okay, you just decided your seat. You were supposed to stop there. Okay, why? What? Go back. All right. Uh, orbit performance. Orbit. No velocity. Ah, blah, 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 blah. time to apapsis. Seven minutes. Okay, that means uh, full throttle. No reason to hang around for seven flippin' minutes waiting for the sun to shine. You know, better just get it over with. Get started. Get going. You know? Four minutes. Alright, we're getting somewhere now. But where, where is, like, my, my marker? That would've been brilliant. Oh, uh, hang on. Flight view? Alright, never mind. Fair, maybe we had a cockpit view that we hadn't realized up until now, which would have been crazy ridiculous. Yeah, one minute, and okay, we're down to the seconds now, let's slow things down. It's gonna be a crazy amount of, of staging happening in a, in a, not that long. Yes, we, we got the plan set out. Okay, let's, uh, throttle it up a little bit more on speed, and let's see if we can't make this baby go into orbit. Uh, alright, we're, we're, how far away? Plan to burn? 40 seconds away? Um, toggle lock on, orbit details, options. UI verbosity? High, whatever that means. Okay, um, uh, add a map view. Oh, let's go. Does it just throttle on itself, or how does it work? I don't think so, because we're past the apoapsis now. Let's fire up everything. Go, 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 go! Okay, stage hit. Even more. Full throttle. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. How's our... There we go. Brilliant, brilliant. It's, it's increasing. Not as fast as our fuel is decreasing, though, which is kind of scary. Unideal. Not ideal. Come on. Come on, baby blue. You can do it. I think we're going to splash down instead, see how that works out. Because we're not going to have enough fuel to get to the moon. There's absolutely no way. I was just eyeballing it all the way. Maybe, maybe in the future. Let's... Uh, I don't think we've actually set up reaction group for these. Uh, so that's also something we might want to look into in the, in the next iteration of the Moonlander 2.0-10678. Or whatnot. Okay, well the, the landing legs at least work. And, and so it appears does the battery? Or the solar panels, I should say? Are we using RCS now? It doesn't look like we're using RCS, which is kind of a downer. Because, you know, RCS is online. I think. Or I'm doing it wrong. One or the other. Both are optional and possible. Okay, let's, uh, how far until ground impact? 
The impact and how many T minus what? Let's point downwards. See how it goes. Alright, so I'm pretty sure landing, sl landing legs aren't slowing us down enough to, to stop us from impacting horrendously on the ground here. Um, so I'm thinking we'll just, you know, make sure it doesn't stop us. Because we're, we were slowing down. Oh, that was the rest of the fuel. Gotcha. Anticlimatic, once again. But we're going to see how it goes when we when we just hit the ground full throttle. And, and maybe that's going to be more than enough to make an impact, so to speak. Pun, pun might be intended. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the landing legs will save us. You know, they're extended and all, so that's a positive, I think. Right now we've slowed down ridiculously much. 200 meters per second? And we're still slowing down? How much drag does these landing legs make? We've, we were below terminal velocity, I think. Or is that kilometers per hour? That's like 196 or whatever. Some somewhere around there. I mean, I got uncertain now. But uh, but we're we're at least gonna impact. That's the important part. Oh well, the parachute survived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the point of impact where the ground survived. That's the important part. Holy smokes! Brilliant. All right. Uh, so apparently that's made of some. Juris deal of, of a high tech variety, that one. Um, but okay, let's end the flight. Alright, so we didn't make it to the moon in this one, but maybe in the next one. If you were gonna call it there, so you know, if you enjoyed this one, be sure to fling a like at it. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, maybe some questions, maybe you have some, some ideas on how to get this thing into orbit, be sure to leave those down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. And if you watched this far and you haven't already, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with all the things that are average when it comes to gaming anyways. And, you know, I'm kind of an awesome guy, if I may say so myself. I find myself awesome. Maybe you do too. So, you know, stick around. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Till then, cheerio.